let me tell you a story. This is a 20 month old little girl who was running around with a toothbrush in her mouth, tripped and fell and the toothbrush impaled her and pierced through the back of her throat. Her examination revealed a two millimeter masturbation and a small hematoma in the right posterior pharyngeal wall, which means that there was a little cut and a little collection of blood at the back of her throat. A CT scan of the area revealed an air tract penetrating between the mandibular ramus and the cervical vertebra, passing by the carotid sheath and reaching under the skin of the right posterior neck. So there was an air tract from her mouth, through her throat, grazing essentially her carotid artery. Can you imagine the catastrophe that would have been if that would have hit her carotid artery? Her airway in her mouth would have filled with blood and honestly, she probably would have bled out or bled into her airway before anybody could save her. This is another case. This is a three-year-old girl who accidentally fell from a chair while playing with her brother. She had been holding a pencil in her hand and she was found lying on the ground with the pencil sticking out from just below her right ear. She removed the pencil immediately by herself and subsequent oozing stopped spontaneously. Her mother reported that the pencil had been found fully intact upon removal. So it was assumed that the entire pencil uh, was removed by the child. So you can see here on admission, she was alert and crying when she was being seen by the doctor, but the exam revealed a five millimeter laceration accompanied by a small hematoma right in front of her right earlobe. No other injuries were found. However, her facial movement was asymmetric while she was crying. This suggests a injury to the facial nerve. So imaging was done, CT scan was performed, and it actually demonstrated that she had injury to her parotid gland and there was a facial nerve injury. If you think about it, the area that's behind your throat, right, is going to be very vascular. There's going to be a lot of structures there that can get damaged if a stick, a toothbrush, a crayon, a pencil, a pen, or something impales and hits the blood supply. So I urge you to keep these things out of your baby's mouths, out of your children's mouth. If you see them with this in their mouth, be sure to take it from them and get them to understand that they should not do this and why they should not do this.